gonna be a hot and sweaty day vlog today. Hey, I'm on a roll. We're doing day vlogs. Battle for Bukit Timah. Woo! There used to be a battle here. Never knew that. And what is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm back at nature. Well, it's a, it's a park, but it's a very uphill climb. Today, we are at Bukit Timah Hill. It is supposed to be the uh, tallest part, well, tallest hill in Singapore. I think it's taller than Mount Faber. Correct me if I'm wrong, leave your comments down below. But this is supposed to be the highest point in terms of land-wise. I, I think our buildings are higher than this. I'm not even kidding, guys. Look, it's a steep uphill climb. I notice a lot of people coming down this way are walking backwards. I might have to do that, especially with bad knees. I'm standing straight, and look, it's all the way down. So I think if I fall, I'll roll all the way down. You do know I have to do this multiple times, right? I thought this was gonna be uh, quick and easy, <laughs> but it's still quite challenging. The simple fact is because it's an uphill climb. I brought my hiking stick today to assist me, just in case, but I've seen a lot of old people around, age 50 and above, doing this hike. I think they did not use a hiking stick, so I better not embarrass myself. I keep telling you guys I love nature, but in actual fact, nature is painful. But I'm enjoying it, guys. I'm enjoying it. The last couple of days, I keep telling you guys that I'm working out, working out. I even tell you guys that I've been going on lots of hikes. Yes, lots of hikes. Whew. This is what I asked for. Well, look at here, we got a little friend. Can you see that little lizard? Monitor lizard crawling through the bushes. All right, guys, the summit, another 580 meters to go. Whew. You gotta be kidding me, man. <sighs> you guys, this is not even funny, man. I'm serious. Whew. And for what am I doing this for? <sighs> Just to get a few lights, a few views. <sighs> You can't even buy me a bottle of water. I don't even have milk tea today. Milk tea can't save me today. I need isotonic. I need H2O. Mm. This is long flights of stairs, man. I feel like it's the Great Wall of China or something. Okay, moving on. Have you ever climbed so much stairs that your legs feels jelly. They're like numb and weak. You can't feel your legs no more. If I can do it, everyone else can do it. I'm pretty sure all of you can do it. One, two, three, three hands. Is this ever gonna end? That's how much I've done already. Oh boy, guys, this is a workout. No joke. I'm not taking the hiking stick, not yet. Keep on moving, Lina. If, if this is 500 meters of stairs, I quit. Ah. Ah. Ooh, my legs. Okay, I think we made it to the top. I think we're almost there. Just a few more stairs, guys. I really need to catch my breath. Oh man, it is tough. I'm breathless now. 
for a second there, I was like, <gasps> I couldn't breathe. Oh man, I'm getting so unfit. Apart from all that, this, this is a really nice nature walk. They have developed this place. They made it all boardwalk and, um, you know, nice walking paths. It's still tiring. I mean, it's no walk in the park for sure. But the objective is to go to the summit. We are going to do it. to the summit. I'm pretty proud of myself, guys. Ooh, it is an achievement. All right, we're gonna go up and see that little small rock. The summit, yeah. Oh, a little history here. As the highest point on the island of Singapore, Bukit Timah Hill was a recognized landmark to the European settlers in the 19th century. Just a little bit more steps to go, guys. The summit, there's a rock over there. We'll be there soon. We made it, guys. We made it to this stupid rock. So, oh, that is uh, only 163 meters above sea level. That's how high it is. Oh my, that's crazy. Oh, it's bloody hot here. So we came from these stairs over here, but um, going down, we have to take this road. I prefer that anyways. So you think that's it? You think that's all I'm here for? Just come up to the summit? No, there's more. There's a beautiful, beautiful quarry that I'm gonna go check out. Apparently the water is beautiful as well. But you know, of course we can't swim there. And it's close by at the bottom. Time to hike all the way down. It should be easier, I hope. But you guys, what a beautiful streak that I'm on, right? Day vlog, day vlog, day vlogs. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I used to do a lot of vlogs at night. That's because I work in the day. But now, now I'm on a roll. All day vlogs. And plus, it's a lot nicer and brighter, right? You guys get to see me clearly. Monkeys. You guys, there's a monkey here. Wildlife at its best. And we see another monkey. More monkeys. There is plenty of them, guys. Holy. Look at that. Look at the group of monkeys there. I swear, man, guys, these monkeys, you don't want to play with them. You don't want to mess with them. Trust me when I say this. We've been attacked by monkeys during our hikes in the past. I'm just saying. You heard that? See how wild they are? What you do is that you just walk, keep walking and ignore them. That's the plan. If you guys realize, I stopped putting my camera down and walking and filming because I don't want them to steal my camera. <laughs> so this baby is gonna be on my hands for the time being. <laughs> I'm not leaving it with the monkeys. I mean, tell the monkeys to get their own cameras. I don't want them to be a YouTuber or taking over my channel. Nope, monkeys. This is living like liner, not living like monkeys. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate trees. Man, if there were no trees, I'll be burning my ass off. All right, you guys, instead of going down where I came from, I'm gonna go a bit of off-road. It says Catchment Path. So let's explore a little adventure. And I'll tell you guys if it's worth coming down this way or taking the main way. I think the main way should be easier. This is more adventurous, I guess. My guess. You guys know my character. You know my personality. There's no way I'm gonna take back that boring path that I came from. And plus, it is nature all around. Closer to nature, I might add. This path here, it does ring a bell a bit. Now, this is not my first time at Bukit Timah Hill. Back in the days, I think 20 years ago, probably 20 years ago, during my army days, we have like excursions over here. Um, just one excursion, not excursions. But what I wanted to say is that back in the days, there were no stairs. There were no proper paths. It was just like jungle trails and you have to trek all your way in. It was a much fun, well, a much more dangerous hike, I would add. But I mean, we were in the army, so we were like climbing rocks, you know, getting over branches and all. It's like a night adventure. Now, seeing this whole place all develop and all nice, I mean, I think they have made a big improvement 
in Bukit Timah Hill. Honestly, I'm not even mad, guys. Look at this trail. It's beautiful. Look at that fallen tree. That's a huge fallen tree. So in the past, we would probably have to climb over that tree. <laughs> now, we have stairs. Not that I love stairs a lot. Wow, you guys. <laughs> this is incredible. The trees. <laughs> That's how grown the pathway. Okay. Ah. Oh, so I'm trying my best, taking it slow, going down by sideways because it's less impactful on the knees. I'll be fine, guys. I'll be fine. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. You know, they always say if you stop thinking about the pain, then it never happens. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is that I'm thinking about the beautiful nature, the exploration and not thinking about the lakes a lot. <sighs> I'm gonna cry when I go home tonight. We've come to this bridge and it is a waterfall. Tiny waterfall. Yeah, it's not much, is it? Yeah? <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Where does it go? Flows all the way under. Yeah, it's really not much, guys. I think it looks better way up there. Like, can you really see over there? And it flows all the way down to here. Okay, here is our waterfall. A slight little adventure under the branch and we're cleared. It's that easy. You guys, I'm on the path and look what I found. Oh, no way. There is a cave here. Wow. Look at this place. What? How is there a cave in Singapore? Well, it's fenced up and we can't go in. But man... You know, I thought like I could use my flashlight and then shine inside and then film, but uh, I didn't bring lights today because you know what? It's a daytime and why would I bring lights during the day? But um, also, I think it's not a good idea because if nobody has used that cave before, then if you put lights inside, bats, bats are going to get startled and they're all going to fly out. It is locked anyways, guys. So ah, Singapore, why do you have to lock up everything? As I was walking, there is another cave. What? All right, all right, all right, guys. Ooh, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Very cool, guys. Okay, let me use my handphone light. See if I can see anything. I hope no bats will fly out. Okay, can't even see anything, guys. Oh, well, that's the cave for you guys. See, it's locked. If I'm not wrong, this entrance to the cave leads to the other entrance of the cave. And I think it's just that, like here to there, there to here. I don't think it's like a deep cave or a mine or something, but I will check out for you. There is a visitor center. I will ask what is this cave all about. <sighs> Exhaustion is an understatement. Oh, you guys, this could easily be my top five most difficult hikes. Not even lying, guys. Look, look at the amount of sweat. All monkeys, monkey, just one. There you go. Yeah, but uh, this path. This is too much stairs. Unless you want to see that small waterfall and the cave. Which, I think it's not really that worth it to see that cave because it's locked up anyways. Okay, I can give you my conclusion. You should come the way that I came up from. Don't take the off-road path. <laughs> Especially if you have bad knees. I think we are almost at the visitor center. <sighs> almost. And over here, we have a heritage tree. Ah, wow, that's a very high tree. 
tall tree. Good job preserving the tree. Visitor center, 80 meters. Yay! Yes! <sighs> that feels so good. All right, guys, so I've asked about this cave. During the war time, the Japanese used those caves. They don't know for what, but right now, the reason it's closed because they're doing research on bats. See, I told you they're bats. So that's the reason why they had to lock it up. It's because they don't want people to go inside and disturb the bats because they are doing research. But now, now we're heading to Hin... Hinida Nature Park. Apparently here is a beautiful quarry that we are gonna check out. It is not so far guys. The path here is a boardwalk. Pretty easy. And we made it guys. Check this out. It was beautiful, isn't it? Whew, what a workout today, guys. <laughs> a serious workout. No joke. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'll catch you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! Finally, it's done. It is done. I can... I can rest now. Bukit Tima Hill completed. Let's check off my bucket list. <laughs> there is always this Bukit Tima Hill that I never vlog about it. And now, finally, it's completed, it's done. There is an exhibition hall here at the visitor center. Okay, a small little exhibition hall. Wait a second, there are two tigers. One here, one here. Is this even real? Hmm. Look guys, tigers used to be found in the wild in Singapore. They were a common sight in the Bukit Timah and Chua Chukang areas, as well as on Pula Ubin. So, this is a real tiger. It's a stuffed tiger. So there were tigers in Singapore in the past. Hmm. Basically, back in the days, the tigers went on rampage and started killing people. And then, you know, the government gave them $20 for every tiger killed. And eventually, now there is no more tigers in Singapore. Well, this was the back in the days. It's like in the 19th century or something. But hey, I learn something new every day. <sighs> All right, guys. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Oh, my legs. My legs. I'm starting to feel it now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was okay during the hike, but now, now I'm gonna feel pain tonight. <laughs>